okay guys so today i'm going to show you how to find a good supplier the easy way okay i'm also going to talk about one of the things that you should not do if you're looking for a supplier okay one of the biggest mistakes that most dropshippers do when they're looking for supplies okay so first we need to define what makes a good supplier okay a good supplier guys it's someone who is able to allow you to buy one one and still sell you at a very good price okay he doesn't have to ship for you he doesn't have to most likely he will package for you but doesn't have to ship for you because you'll understand that one of the places where that you're going to make a lot of money from it's shipping okay that's why you it's better you get your own shipping so today we're going to talk about my favorite way to get good suppliers and also how to save money as you do your own shipping okay to from the supplier to your own clients okay so now guys the other thing that makes a good supplier is their ability to support their products okay but not only but most suppliers will not be able to do that but the other thing that is important is they are they are they are return policies if they are fair enough if you the, you drop ship the product to the client the client doesn't like it and then you're able to send it back to them and they can refund you your money okay and another thing i will say guys is once a client is unhappy with the product the best thing to do is to refund the client okay don't try to send another product to the client because there's a good chance that they may also reject that product and then before you know it you've lost a lot of money okay so just remember that guys so now the wrong way to find a good supplier is you know you can go to drop stock right and try to find a good supplier but personally i would not recommend using drop shot drop okay so personally guys i would not advise using drop store to find a good supplier reason being most suppliers that are inside drop store are like drop shippers like me and you okay that's the challenge with drop store drop store it's it's a platform that makes it easy for you to drop ship to drop ship okay but the challenge with drop store guys is when you're getting started you're not gonna they're not gonna give you access to the best suppliers there is because most suppliers are not on drop store okay people that are on drop store are drop shippers that are trying to make money as suppliers okay so drop store is a great platform if you know um you want to do as little as possible as a drop ship but when you're getting started Okay, it's not the best place because it will it will tend to become expensive. They will make the whole process automated. But when you're getting started, you don't need an automated system. You need a cheap system. Okay, you have the time, you don't have the money, right? And drop store is mostly for people with the money and don't have the time. Okay, so the best place, guys, to start that I would recommend when you're getting started is to go inside Bido Buy. That's where you find some very good suppliers. Okay, you'll find them inside bid or buy okay so getting getting supply and bid or buy is easy guys because one thing that i would recommend you start doing is using the what's hot button this will show you all the products that are trending and are selling well and you can use that to sort of have an idea of what to drop ship okay so now i'm just i'm just going through this i'm just you know doing a random search let's say now I decide to sell uh, let me check uh, let me find something interesting okay let's say we do we do this uh, latest latex waste trainer okay this is the three times extra large so now the way I would get a supplier for this is I will not I will not make this guy my supplier yet okay so I will, I will look at the category that they're selling at let's say the cortex and bustlers you see the category there then I'll come here and I'll say low prices okay and then what i will do is i will i will keep you see this one is the cheapest right so i will most likely look at this guy as my potential supplier but another thing is look at the ratings right they should at least be 97 percent and above anything under 92 percent that means people are unhappy with this with the supplier so you need to be careful so i would most likely choose this guy just for for the case study and then you just click on the buy now button okay and then what you do is you order from them okay and then after ordering from them what will happen is you don't have to pay okay beta buyer will give you their contact details and then you can contact them directly and every and, and and talk to them and tell them dude i want to buy this thing and i'd like to send my own my own couriers to come collect and most likely they'll say okay no problem and then you order directly from them and there you have a supplier 
it's that easy and most guys that are here you find some very very good suppliers that will give you some very good prices inside Bredo buy for me this is how i've always done it and it has worked very well and to this day i have some i have some very good suppliers that are found through Bredo buy and i order directly from them i send my own couriers to them because in that way i'm able to save some money on the shipping fees okay guys i hope that's been helpful this is the best way to find a supplier if you're a drop ship okay other ways i would not really go into them they may make it easy for you to drop ship but i'm telling you that most times they will not give you as as good prices as you would get inside bit buy but also you can always compare prices right you can go into drop store and see what's what's the cheapest you can get on the product and go into bit buy and maybe you might get like and find it cheaper there it's better if it's in there because already the guy has has it on the platform and it's going to make it easy for you to drop ship right but but the other challenge i've seen over the time is their shipping times may also take too long okay that's the other thing but if i'm sending my own couriers i'm able to control how quickly i get my products to my clients right so those are some of the other challenges i've found in the past using platforms like drop store or other guys who claim to be uh, to help to be suppliers for drop shippers i hope this makes sense guys and thank you very much and i'll see you guys in the next video so if you would love to learn more about drop shipping the easy way in south africa and you would love to learn more about selling on bid or buy please visit www.dropshipeasy.co.za and in there you will learn how to drop ship the easy way and you will learn more about how to sell on bid or buy